Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at a, another small ship and this one is called the AI 10 Star Mark 1 which is this thing right here. So it's a small civilian vessel for you to fly around and have fun with. It's got a little bit of guns on there, it's got some cargo containers to transport goods but it's just mainly for flying it around and having a good time. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. The 10 star Mark 1 is 10,057 small blocks. It requires the decorative block DLC pack and that is it. No mods, no other DLC, just paste it and go. So we're going to start by taking a look around the outside and then we're going to go and fly it around for a bit. So at the very front here we've got our industrial cockpit, which is the main reason why we're using the decorative block DLC pack. Surrounding that we've got some hydrogen thrusters which is our main form of thrust. We do have a couple of iron thrusters on this but they are mainly there for cruise control. Below our hydrogen thrusters we've got some spotlights to light up the darkness and just below that we've got ourselves some Gatling guns. Two Gatling guns and one Gatling turret to blast your enemies and we can see some more hydrogen thrusters down below there. As we move around the side here we've got a lovely blue glow with some more hydrogen thrusters. And there's the start of our ion. As we move along the side there we've got some lovely block work, some more hydrogen thrusters and some more lovely lights. Coming all the way around to the back of this ship we once again got some more hydrogen thrusters, some more blue lights and here are the rest of the ion thrusters. So this is our main thrust that's going to push us along through space and possibly an atmosphere if you wanted to. So the ion thrusters have been set up on the back here to allow you to use cruise control. You can switch off all the hydrogen thrusters on this ship in order to save hydrogen and ice and just mosey along until you reach your destination. We've got some more blue lights just glowing up everything and making it look fantastic in the darkness. And we've got our three large hydrogen thrusters to make sure we can scoot away at some high speeds. As we come up and above we've got another turret to keep us nice and protected. So we've got one on top, one on the bottom, so we're pretty covered. We've got some more hydrogen thrusters here and some more lights. And then moving along to the front we've got some lovely block work with some more unfinished window blocks. Some more lights and then we're around to here where we've got a air vent to suck in any kind of oxygen if we went say to the alien planet or the earth flight planet. Coming down and underneath this, if I put my light back on, there is the other turret and there is our connector to snap onto a larger ship or perhaps to refuel this with hydrogen. We also have a spotlight there to make sure we can see how close we are to the ground quite easily. But there is no camera there to make sure you can line it up properly so you will be relying either on memory or third person camera. Moving along to the back of the ship, even more hydrogen thrusters and a few more lights. And that is about it. I did slice one open over here so we could see on the inside. On the middle row that is missing it will be O2H2 generators, medium cargo containers. But this is what is on both sides of the ship. So there is our hydrogen tank connecting up to our side large hydrogen thruster. We've got some small reactors to power this thing. There is our small containers over there. Two batteries. And it just comes along over to this cockpit here. where We've got a sneaky antenna that sits right behind it and a remote control block right there. But with that all said and done, it is time for me to get into the cockpit and we can go and fly it around. So coming into here, we have two tabs of things to play with. Number one, it's our galley gun at the front, which we can just blast straight forwards. Number six is to turn our turrets on and off, a very useful button to have if you never set it up. Sometimes you want to keep something intact, but it might be an enemy grid. So you can just switch off your turrets, fly in and steal it without it getting blown up even more. Number seven is for our batteries to put them into recharge or to auto. Number eight is to disconnect or lock our connector on the bottom. And number nine is for our sneaky little antenna on and off. On tab number two, this is for our thrusters and lights. So pressing number eight first, we'll just switch off the lights. So it's the orange lights on the side there. And then number one, two and three are for our hydrogen thrusters. Number one is for our main thruster at the back there in the dead middle, just switch it on and off. Number two is for our other two large hydrogen thrusters. And number three is for all the remaining hydrogen thrusters going around the side. 
Number four is for our ion thrusters. So if we're on a planet, we can just save that little bit of power by switching them off. We are fully capable of flying this thing around without them active, but it is nice just to try and limit that hydrogen usage. So keeping it on is great. So let's go and fly this thing around. Going forwards, we are bloody fast. Look at this thing go. It is rather amazing. And then stopping, we are very good as well. Going backwards, we are exceptionally fast. And then letting go of it, we stop. Pretty good, actually. That's fantastic. Going left and going right is quite slow compared to everything else. Going down is a bit so-so. It seems to be in between the forwards and the left and right. And then going up, we've got a nice lot of speed there. Wiggling my mouse around, which you probably saw earlier, we have one hell of a lot of control over this. There is no weight whatsoever, so if you wanted to, you could come into the gyroscopes and just switch them down just a tad to try and make it a bit more, bit more weighty if you're into that type of thing. But now we can do something else. So I was talking about cruise control, which is where, say, we could turn off all our hydrogen, where we could move forward via our iron thrusters. So going forwards like this and then releasing, we are now cruising along and we have those iron thrusters there just in case we need to do a little bit of maneuvering, which is very nice. Just switching them all on. I think I just discovered a place. Oh, look, there's a place over there. Let's go say hello. Oh, no, that, that's not that's the other ship, isn't it? I got so confused, but there's a military escort. I don't think I've ever gone up to one of the military escorts in space. I might save that for the survival video, which I think I forgot to release or make public. Yes, anyway, that was what I was talking about when it came to cruise control, because we can just go along like this, switch off all our hydrogen, and then we're moving along. We just do a little bit of maneuvering like so. It's not too bad. And we just get to save all our hydrogen. But that is it for the 10 star Mark 1. It's a fantastic little ship. It has all the basics you need to fly it around in space and get from one place to another. Perhaps you're looking for a certain trader, then this is going to be the ship for you. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.